LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. And, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Expensive sensors that are, are unnecessary. It's like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. Like one appendix is bad, well, now they want to put a whole bunch of them. That's ridiculous. I point out that uh, I don't actually super hate LiDAR as much as it may sound, um, but at, at SpaceX, uh, SpaceX Dragon uses LiDAR to navigate to the space station and dock. Not only that, we, the, SpaceX developed its own LiDAR from scratch to do that, and I spearheaded that effort personally, because in that scenario, LiDAR makes sense, and in cars, it's friggin' stupid. It's expensive and unnecessary, and as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's worthless. So you have expensive hardware that's worthless on the car. The, we do have a forward radar, which, which is low cost and is helpful, especially for occlusion situations. So if there's like fog or dust or, or you know, snow, the radar can see through that. If you're going to use active photon generation, don't use visible wavelength, because once you, with, with passive optical, you've taken care of all visible wavelength stuff. You want, to, if you, you, you want to use a wavelength that is occlusion penetrating like radar. So, so LiDAR is just active photon generation in the visual spectrum. If you're going to do active photon generation, do it outside the visual spectrum in the radar, in, in the radar spectrum. So like at 3.8 millimeters versus 400 to 700 nanometers, you're going to have much better occlusion penetration, um, and that's why we have a forward radar.